Okay. Um. Zoom. Zoom. Wait. Why is half of the picture? Wait. Now it's just right. The C screen still down. Um. What's this do? Uh. Zoom, 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 Weird. Alright. This is right. Okay, I need to mute the microphone on the camera because it should be working from this. Um, I hate their instruction book. It just... Well, now I'm too far that way. Let's go this way so I can sit back. Okay, I can't get any closer that way. I may have to move the camera itself. Um, their instruction book sucks. Uh, why has it got, I just put two brand new triple A's in the back of this thing. Why is it being weird? Uh, I don't want to get another camera. Okay, what's that? B L C. I have no idea. That's lighting doing something. I can't tell what. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm very confused. I think I'm going to have to move the camera so that, because even if I zoom it, it's not that close. I can zoom out and still be a little pinprick picture. <sighs> yeah. New camera. I wanted a new camera. The hell was I thinking? this new camera figured out. I mean, you know, and, uh, got remotes and all kinds of other foolishness. And Anyway, I um, wanted to let y'all know that I finished my classes. Not my glasses, my classes. I came out of the last one just a few days ago and I passed and once I pay off the little bit that I actually owe directly to the school, they will confer my degree. I did it. I made it. It's fun. I'm so good. Like, there, there's this t-shirt that I'm going to get. It says, hotter by one degree. <laughs> anyway, that's one of the things I wanted to tell everybody. 
just because. Now, if anybody's curious about this eye look, it's from Roaring Twenties from Rude, which is really pretty. I used this, let's see, the orange here and this burgundy and then picked up a couple of the goldy shimmers. I got this one and then this one and I put this in the corner and, and, and I think it made a pretty nice looking halo eye. That's one that I don't normally attempt. But I did, I got, I was watching some vids and it just jumped out at me. So, there it is. Anyway, what else are we doing? Not a lot, actually. Um, still don't have a car that runs. Not really looking to fix the one I've got because there are so many little things about the car that just don't there's cracks in the windshield the water pump is the current problem for why it doesn't run um, the air conditioner doesn't work just did a bunch of suspension work and tires and that kind of stuff before the pump went and at this point we're going if the pump went and we've got to replace the windshield and what else could possibly go wrong don't want to find out. I mean, we put 1700 into it to get the suspension and stuff done. We ain't got no more. We had just gotten that paid off. And we were thrilled. We had it paid off. And then the water pump went and I'm going, seriously. You had to go there. Anyway. That's what I'm doing. A whole lot's of nothing right now. I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around transitioning from being in classes and having to allot time for my homework. Well, it was all homework, so all the class stuff was homework. But I don't have to worry about that anymore. I've been doing classes since 2015. And I tried one, one round of classes. I tried to do two at a time to cut down on the length of time to get to the very end. And I just couldn't do it. Between helping with my grandkids and being the driver for Jim for everything and all that it's like I could not handle doing two classes at a time there was just was not enough time nah so yeah 2015 I started classes took me almost 10 years. 
it was close. But went through, passed. Final GPA was 3.393. Point one zero Yeah, it was point one zero point one zero seven for making Latin honors. So no cum laude or none of that. Yeah, well, you can't have everything. Anyway, my regalia is here. The conferral is technically set for September 1st. I won't actually get the certificate and the transcript stuff until I pay off the $750. See, I ran out of loan, so the last two classes were on me directly. So that's to the school from me as opposed to the loan. And then we have to work out everything with Nelnet to take care of the rest of that and I'm like crossing my fingers that I qualify for some of the relief it won't be you know it won't erase the whole thing but it'll put a dent um, but the cap and gown are here the funky stole with the school colors and the um, correct color for my degree which is in letters since it's you know English and literature and all that stuff um, the diploma frame is here <laughs> I just got to get the cotton picking bill paid. Um, what else? Oh, what else are we doing? Turn the chair just a little more. See, currently the camera is off to the side because it's a fair bit bigger than the other camera was. And I can't really get it up where I had it, the other camera because it has to sit up against the back of my screen. And then I push it down when I'm working on other stuff on the screen, pull it up when I go to film, but that was the other camera. This one just doesn't completely fit that way. We'll have to see. I will probably fiddle with the position three or four times. Currently, it's zoomed in as far as it goes. And the picture doesn't look too bad. I mean, it, it's an upgraded camera from the webcam I had. It's still a webcam, but it's got a few bells and whistles. The old one doesn't. We shall see how it goes. It's time to get, I gotta get back to writing. Yep, yep, yep. But for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be trying to resettle my brain around the, the idea that I no longer have the, um, school work to deal with it really it really is quite a big jump 
trying to wrap my head around the fact that I'm finished. Actually finished with that getting of the degree. It's pretty spiffy. Kind of nifty. I did it. Now I've got to do some other stuff. Got to write more. Definitely got to get back into doing more films. I mean, I had to do this video today for the filming so that by the time I finish editing, hopefully it will be up tomorrow, which is Sunday the 28th, which is the anniversary of the first video I ever put up, which was August 28th of 2018. And I still don't have a lot of people. <laughs> But that's okay. I'm having a blast. Now, I believe the last time I was on, I told people about all the makeup that I sent down to my granddaughters. I did a huge declutter. And so far, the only new palette that I have gotten since doing this massive declutter is the Roaring Twenties from Root. And I'm having a blast with it. I really am. I've done several different looks. The first one I did was all greens. This one by I showed you it was orange and maroon so it's it's kind of sunsetty and then I put kind of an orangey glitter in and then did a light tap of gold right up through the center having fun having lots of fun I've got a few other new things that I'm trying out but it's not a lot of new. Elf came out with something called Halo Glow Liquid Filter Radiant Skin Foundation. Gotta try it. Gotta try it. Must do. I'm almost finished using up my Perlice Radiant Glow Illuminating BB Cream. Yes, it's taken me a while to get through it because it's very thin, but it looks good. Yeah, see? Yes. And I've only had a little problem here and there with it soaking, you know, kind of settling into the lines and stuff, you know, and old lady lines. Not really using a lot of new stuff. Everything else on my face is stuff that I've had. No, wait. I tell a fib. This was a freebie that Elf sent me. This one is Nectar. It's a really pretty nude. It's not 
the usual solidly beigey nude. It's got a bit of color to it. So it's got kind of an orangey brown. So yeah, with this, I went with this. I spend enough at ELF that they send me things now and then. I'm going to have to do some stuff with clothes coming up here soon because I have got to clear out my closet and I've got a bunch of stuff that I picked up at Salvation Army that and we only go to Salvation Army pretty much because that's the only game in town. We have a few um, few little consignment shops. Uh, but they've got an even more limited size selection than the thrift store. That's our only thrift store, though, is the Salvation Army. Mm. I'm not a fan of all their politics. And with no car, we got to take what we can get. Anyway, but some of the stuff that I picked up at Salvation Army has been worn. It was already on the short list for how long it was going to last because it was thrifted from a place where people were dumping not their best stuff. So it's, it's time. The stuff has got to be sorted. It's got to be gone through. It's got to go. And I'm going to be looking at thread up to see what I can come up with there. Um, also starting to shop for my grandkids for Christmas. So thread up, here I come. Um, what else? Nothing, really. Nothing. I miss everybody. I miss the comments. And over the summer, the number of videos and the people that I normally watch have just like been dropping like crazy. They just, they're disappearing. Jeez, guys, come on now. Don't leave me. Anyway, I have been trying to keep up with everybody's stuff. We will hope I can manage to keep up while it, more than likely though, like next summer, you're going to not see a whole lot of me. Kind of like this summer, but this summer was because of the schoolwork and stuff that I was doing, trying to make sure that I passed everything. But with no air conditioner and heat from 95 up, and the fact that literally once I get over a certain temperature, you would think I was standing under a shower while you see the water run off of me. Yeah, really hot weather as long as I have no air conditioning, I will not be filming. It's kind of useless and it's not pleasant. And about half the time I'm sitting in the room with my little box fan thing that's got the little water drip. One of those things that they call personal air conditioners for your desk. 
and I'm sitting here in my skivvies and yeah, no, you don't want to see that. Or if you do, that's fine. Let me know. I'll go make an OnlyFans. I've even thought about going to make an OnlyFans and posing just sitting still as a life model for artists. I don't know whether or not it would do any good, but hey, there you go. It was an idea. I mean, I've posed as a life model before, but that's usually like in person. And yeah, we don't do so much of the in-person stuff anymore since the, the Grand Plague. Um, and I really don't know if I want to get back into doing it in person. About half of the time, these people that are doing the, the hobby classes, they want to do those in the middle of winter. I don't want to do life model sitting in the middle of winter if I'm doing the nudes. Just no. However, I will do them, do life modeling costumed, which is fun. So I like put on my costume, I've got my sword with me, and you just strike a pose and have fun and do nothing. You just don't move. while people try and sketch your ass. <laughs> and they can see all, like they can get all the folds of the cape and all the folds in whatever you're wearing. And you know, the, the light on the sword edge, that kind of thing. It does make a difference. Anyway, and I think I've blathered on long enough. It says 2349, so once I tag a few things here and there, yeah, put some stuff on. And if I don't shut it off sooner, I'm going to be all the way up to 25 minutes. Now, granted, some of my other ones take an hour minimum. They might again at some point. But I decided not to do this one as a get ready with me. I'm just doing an update. Be good. <laughs>